All right, so um, I'm sorry to have to be doing it with a camera looking at the computer, but uh, my screen capture software was overloading the computer, so my laptop's a little bit slow. So here, uh, what you're looking at here is uh, Tuner Pro RT, and what I'm going to do is go over here and open a bin file. So a bin file is pretty much what your uh, all of the settings for you, uh, your specific uh, computer. Um, so when you when you in in our in Tuner Pro when you open the bin file you don't really see anything open but all of the settings and this may or may not be that visible but uh, these are all the parameters uh, that you can set like fan uh, EGR. Uh, fuel resume speed it's all basic stuff map threshold uh, minimum and maximum BLM and then you can come on down and then these are all of your your diagnostic errors uh, so right here you've got you can turn the bats on and off and this right here says traction control and you know on and off so you select that and you say and it will what it'll do is say, well, I want to, if it's got a, you know, if it's set, like it's got a check mark, uh, that means you want track control, but you can deselect it. However, uh, what I have seen in the forums is that uh, the Corvette and at least the Y body uh, will not allow you to turn traction control off because it's traction control is controlled by the, uh, and the, secondary computer somewhere else under the dash so you really can't turn trash control off so uh, you can take a look at all of these you know errors you can you can turn the errors off so that you don't get an error I mean there's just too many to go over and you come down here and then he these are all of your uh, uh, you know Spark advance versus RPM versus uh, manifold pressure. These are all your tables that you can tweak, but I don't really know, or uh, really I don't know uh, much about these, so these are just things that I don't want to mess with at the moment. Uh, but one thing that I was able to, to, to find was that you, you can't turn trash control off but what you can do is uh, select the, what you can do is right here is you see traction control spark retard versus RPM. So with traction control on, you can, uh, and what, you, what you're seeing here is all zeros. So I've already zeroed all mine out. So this was, uh, what you're seeing is, this is showing the retard for the spark with traction control on, which means when traction control is on, you're through the RPM range, you've got a certain amount of knock retard in there, or, or spark retard in there to pull the timing back. So I just went through and set it all to zero so that you don't get any, uh, you know, lower power than you would with trash control off. So I've already set it to zero and saved my bin file. And uh, what you can also look at, I mean, there's mainline pressure, there is, um, let's see if I can move this a little bit. You may not be able to see it, but it's mainline pressure. I mean, the transmission uh, pressure that you get, like the, your shift pressure. Uh, you can go through all this, you know, when the car shifts, you can kick down. Uh, it's just, just all kinds of stuff that I, most of it, 90% of it that I don't really want to mess with at the moment. So... Uh, what I what I've done is I have gone through, and up here I have uh, lowered my fan temperatures. Uh, this one's for oil temp, so I don't. You can have it come on when your oil temperature gets too high. Um, so this is my. I've got mine reduced to. Uh, you've got it where it can you know. Uh, fan one or low fan with with low R miles per hour or high miles per hour I don't really know what the what the, the tripping point is for between low and high, but 
or you can you know and then this is a uh, high fan 2 which is basically a uh, high speed fan low and high miles per hour uh, so I've kind of I've got all mine turned way down uh, so uh, this is really what you're looking at for a, you know for the bin file uh, this is these are basically like I said all the settings for uh, your computer in, in your car so you can um, save the bin file which I've already you know got mine saved so uh, let's go over to and that like I said that was tuner pro so let's go over to e, e, e hack so here's the the basic e, e hack uh, startup and so when I want to go this flash button so I've already done it once and I wanted to make sure it worked I wanted to you know don't want to videotape uh, my computer blowing up so you want to come in and load a bin file and it will show you the last bin file you used and EE hack will do a program programming stability test so when you plug your plug this in you can you can uh, hit this and it'll tell you if you're getting a good connection so also you can download your current settings with this button here and this is the the upload bin and you you can see that it gives you the one really good thing about this uh, ee hack is over all of the buttons it will give you a an explanation of what each button does so uh, to upload the ecm you plug in and uh, basically go ahead and hit hit the button and it it runs through it so uh, Next, I will be uh, showing you what it looks like to upload a bin. Well, we got everything hooked up. We're in the car, obviously, and so there's the laptop. I do have it hooked up to the extension cord, the battery uh, 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 power supply. So, and we have the uh, ALDL cable plugged in. And uh, so let's go ahead and turn the car on so you can see that what's going on here so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and, and I'll go ahead and connect an error has occurred okay so what all you're doing right here is this I'm gonna uh, restart okay so you can see that it is connected and what's happening here is you can see all these lights turn on so it's turned the ASR off and so let's go to flash so let's run the program stability test so here it's turning on the fans and it's kind of going through a uh, bunch of checks and again I'm sorry about this videotape in this computer monitor it's kind of a pain hard to read So this is one of those things where you just kind of sit here and you don't even want to breathe uh, while it's connected. So all right. So here you see there's errors at the top. Errors are zero. That means that we got a good connection. So let's uh, exit.
going to cancel and see now it's disconnected when I canceled it, it disconnected so let's reconnect go back to flash so we're going to load our new bin and so we've got good car battery we've got uh, this shows that I'm plugged in let's just double check okay yep so everything kind of went dim so everything's good so you can see that uh, again here we go that's better so what we're going to do is upload warning battery dies your computer crashes or you're not oh let's see you know what do you want to continue no so you know what I want to do I want to turn off I'm going to turn off my Wi-Fi turn on airplane mode so that I don't get any Wi-Fi interference so let's come back upload bin yes an error has occurred must select the T side okay so this did not happen before skip right T side okay so all I did was disable the previous bin and then right T side and right E side so let's upload please establish connection before okay so it disconnected me so we're learning here together connect flash right E side and T side and E side I don't really know this will give you an explanation of what all that is but I'm not too uh, worried about it right now so upload yes so this may take a few minutes running through everything so it's erasing the current program and now it's reprogramming so you can see the E side or the, I'm sorry the T side you can see the little bar going up so this is rewriting the addition or the changes that I made to the trash control uh, timing retard this does make me a little bit nervous probably speed this up halfway done erasing the east side done successful flash press exit and you can only see that it says finish so that's exit close that out and close that out And I'm not worried about saving on uh, data log. So we are done. So the that seemed to be successful. So let's disconnect from the computer. And let's make sure 
everything starts. Everything seems to be working. So that is my uh, load tire pressure warning system, which I have all the bands taken out because they were broken. So I think we're all good. So I think Let's turn the key. Now, one thing I know everyone will be happy about, now that I've got the fans uh, reset to come on at a better temperature that I like, I was able to rewire the fan relays back to the way the, uh, the stock wiring is and get rid of that stupid manual switch. So, uh, so I've got a new paper, a new gasket in here that I made for a buck and a half and a new uh, $8 idle air control and everything seems to be working okay so it's all good later